In this video, Italian Grandma Margarita is cooking up a whole roasted chicken. Not only will we learn Grandma's secrets to making a juicy whole roasted chicken without using a baster, but we'll also learn the secret to making her roasted potatoes soft on the inside and crispy on the outside. Let's get started. Check the video description for a quick list of ingredients. This whole chicken is six pounds and Grandma's favorite butcher has already removed the insides. Grandma starts by giving the chicken a lemon massage. Grandma loves to read translations of your comments, so don't forget to drop her a greeting and like her video. Subscribe for free to our channel for more recipes like this. She rubs the juice from half a lemon all over the outside of the chicken skin. She says this not only flavors the chicken, but lemon is important for helping to create a crispy skin as the chicken roasts in the oven. Here she's minced one clove of garlic and about two tablespoons of fresh rosemary. She's mixing in a teaspoon of fine salt and a pinch of black pepper to create a rub. Time for the marinade and rub. Margarita loosens the chicken skin gently with a knife, then with her fingers. This lets her add herbs between the skin and the chicken meat. First the minced rub, a piece of halved fresh garlic, and a sprig of fresh rosemary. Grandma adds the rub, the fresh garlic cloves, and sprigs of rosemary under the skin of the chicken in many places. The legs, solito trito, breast, thighs, and even inside the chicken cavity. This gives her chicken its amazing flavor. Like most Italians, Grandma Margarita never uses dehydrated garlic or onion powder to flavor. Always fresh garlic. Aglio, trito, mettiamo nelle ali questo pezzetto di rosmarino. She's taken this fresh rosemary from the hedges growing outside of her kitchen. After rubbing salt generously on the chicken skin, she flavors the chicken cavity with the rest of the fresh garlic, the other half of the lemon, and a handful of black olives, and of course another pinch of salt and black pepper. Always freshly grind a black pepper, as Grandma was doing, for the best flavor. And finally, she adds a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil inside the chicken cavity as well. Use toothpicks or skewers to pin any open skin closed. This will ensure the chicken meat doesn't dry out as it cooks. And it's time to let the chicken rest overnight. The secret to Grandma Margarita's incredible, flavorful roasted chicken. The next day, Margarita finishes the chicken skin off with a few more pinches of salt and pepper. Any generous amount of extra virgin olive oil, which will help the skin crisp up. Ed ecco il piccolo segreto: l'acqua. Grandma says this is her secret to juicy roasted chicken. Surprisingly, she doesn't baste her chicken, but simply adds water to the pan, covers the chicken with foil as it cooks, and flips the chicken halfway through the cook time. For the last hour, she removes the foil to let the skin crisp up and flips it more frequently. Grimmel says the rule of thumb for roasting chicken is about an hour for every kilogram or two pounds of chicken. For her whole chicken, that's about three hours of roasting. And it's into the oven, 485 degrees Fahrenheit, 250 degrees Celsius for the entire cook time. The chicken is in the oven and it's time to move on to the crispy roasted potatoes. After peeling and cutting the potatoes into bite-sized pieces, she soaks the potatoes in filtered water for at least two hours before roasting them. This is her little secret for removing the starch from the outside of the potatoes. Starch on the outside of the potatoes can cause the potatoes to stick to the tray as they roast. 
After the two hour soak, she dries the potatoes and they go into the roasting pan. She coats the potatoes generously with extra virgin olive oil. This olive oil is special as it came from olives harvested on her land. And here's Grandma's little secret for making her potatoes crispy. She says to be sure not to salt the potatoes at the beginning. Salting at the beginning will drag too much moisture from the core of the potatoes, making the potatoes dry inside and moist outside, the opposite of what we are looking for. Grandma roasts the potatoes at the same 485 degrees Fahrenheit, 250 degrees Celsius, for about 45 minutes uncovered. Mi raccomando, durante la cottura vanno girate almeno due volte. Mmm, che profumino, ragazzi! Pensate come sarà la fine! And here's Grimmel's chicken after cooking for about an hour. Passata un'ora di cottura e adesso Time to flip. Add a bit more water to the bottom of the roasting pan. And it's back into the oven. And here's Grimmel's roasted chicken after two hours in the oven. It's starting to turn golden, so it's time to remove the foil cover. Grimmel says it's splendid already, and we have to agree. At this point, Grimmel says we want to flip the chicken every 10 to 15 minutes for the last hour of cook time to ensure a nice crispy skin. After about 20 minutes in the oven, Grimmel flips the potatoes and only now adds the salt. Perché a questo punto il sale non ammorbidisce più la patata. Mettiamo il sale. Io ne metto questa quantità. Some sprigs of fresh rosemary and of course another drizzle of olive oil. Ecco qua, le patate sono pronte. Il forno è pronto, impiattiamo e andiamo a tavola. Click the thumbs up button to let Nonna Margarita know that you like her video. And let us know what else you'd like to see her cook up in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for free to our channel for more classic recipes like this from Italy and beyond. There's a danger this chicken is never going to reach the table. Mi tocca fare tutto da sola. Ma non volevi la letta? Eh vabbè, ma ormai ho visto questo. E buon appetito! Mm. 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 Mm.